Hello guys, this is Snakes95, and I'm going to be reviewing Ring Runner, Flight of the Sages, developed and published by Triple B Titles. Ring Runner is a fast-paced action game in space with RPG elements. Triple B Titles successfully kickstarted Ring Runner late 2012, and if you were a backer, this was certainly worth backing. I hadn't heard much of Ring Runner until recently when a PR sent out a press release saying, hey, this is Ring Runner, it's an awesome game, you should play it. Rather than, you know, I'm trying to pull my arm, they were being genuine, so I gave it a look, and here I am, 21 hours later. Yeah, 21 hours later. One of the features Ring Runner has going for it is a 30-hour campaign. While I got through it in, say, 20 hours, how many games do you play that keep you interested for 20 hours? Skyrim does not count. Fortunately, Ring Runner doesn't just have a ton of content, it's also top-notch quality. Starting off from the beginning of the game, you'll find yourself with a buddy called Nero. They'll stick with you throughout the whole game in space, when you have nobody else to turn to. You'll appreciate Nero's comical and helpful traits. Also, he's part of your brain. Triple B titles made sure to keep things light and comical throughout the game, while occasionally throwing in references all over the place that you may or may not pick up on. I managed to catch on to Gladiator, Lord of the Rings, Minecraft, Home Alone, PETA, and Star Wars. The story isn't all about funny moments, and I'll be honest, the story is where Ring Runner really shines. Ring Runner will toy with your emotions, though, every chance they get. Now, what's so great about Ring Runner that makes it worth purchasing, you know, aside from everything I've already mentioned? As you progress through the game, you'll get a feel for each of the five different ship types, and eventually get to design your own ship. One type that may be better for racing, another for sneaking through the level without an issue, or another for just going balls to the wall crazy. Eventually you'll find that one ship is perfect for how you want to play. I found myself playing the caster. The caster gives you a nice balance by staying mobile while manipulating gravity to their will. That's right. In the event that you find yourself getting bored with the campaign, there are a variety of unique scenarios that you can mess around with. There are modes that will remind you of Breakout, Missile Command, Asteroids, and even a MOBA mode. It's certainly not something you'd expect after playing the campaign, and it's a cool alternative to the story. In Ring Runner, the progression is also great in itself. From when you start the game to when you're nearing the end, you'll notice you're now mashing 10 times as many buttons. You go from this ship with maybe one or two abilities to shoot to, well, a badass ship that gets stuff done. One last pro for Ring Runner would have to be the universe itself. Whether it's battling it out in stars as, a as asteroids go pa flying past you or shredding through a city like a gangster, in these moments the music truly immerses you into the space. Now on the other hand, what would make you stray away from purchasing Ring Runner? In Ring Runner I came across a few typos, but it was only one or two fortunately, so it's not that big of a deal. There are only two issues really though that stand out in my mind with Ring Runner. The first issue is even though Ring Runner contains multiplayer, you're unlikely to have anyone to play with unless you have friends playing it as well. Upon checking the list for servers and people to play with, there was usually one server playing in zombie mode because, hey, who doesn't love zombies? Nothing is actually wrong with the multiplayer itself, it's more so the fact that there's a lack of people to play with. The second issue lies with the 30 hour campaign. A ton of content is always great. You just have to make sure it doesn't become tiresome. The first 14 hours of my 20 hour playthrough was fun, but for the next few hours it became a little grindy, although I will say it picked up again. Therefore I can see someone reaching a point far in and feeling the need to say, hey, I need to stop, at least for a break. For the price of $9.99, you get yourself a fun indie space action game with a great story. If you're still not sure on whether to get it or not, I'd suggest looking at my fresh analysis video on it featuring the first 20 minutes of the game. As usual, thanks for watching guys, you're awesome as always, and if you have any questions about Ring Runner, just let me know below, I'll answer it. Otherwise, this is Snakes95, checking out.